shorts. Last session, the three of you visited 18th century America. Are you ready to go back to 1997? You know, guys, we call this 90s edition, but we don't really spend a whole lot of time in the 90s. Oh, yeah. Why don't we just call it, like, Time Traveler Edition? Because I wrote myself into a corner, and now, for continuity's sake, I have to call it 90s Edition. So we can go anywhere or any when I vote Ancient Rome. Are you out of your mind? Why go back when we can go forward? Uh, why, why don't we go to, like, year 4000? You could have a roll-off to see who gets to pick the next destination. I'd like to point out, I'm, I'm the only one at this table that hasn't screwed up time travel yet. That's true. Waylon, roll with advantage. Twelve. Eighteen. Four. Nineteen. Waylon, where are we going? Whitechapel. London. 1888. 1888? Isn't that the height of the Jack the Ripper murders? Waylon enters the data into the machine and poof, you're there. Why did you want to come here? <sighs> to hunt down the most notorious serial killer in human history. The most notorious? Um... Hello? That's debatable. Does anyone else think that this is a pretty dangerous place for me to be? Who's worse than Jack? Well, if you're going on victims alone, I mean, Harold Shipman comes to mind. Yeah, but he's only popular among crime buffs. What about Ted Bundy? Now that's a household name. So no one cares that there's a very real possibility that I'll get butchered? Wait, she's right. We could use her as bait. Yeah. That's the most misogynistic thing I've ever heard. She could probably pass as a prostitute. Never mind. That is. So you guys are going to use Sarah to lure Jack out of the shadows. Is anyone listening to anything that I'm saying? Speaking of listening, everybody give me a perception check. 17. 8. 10. All of you hear Big Ben ring to signify that it's 3 a.m. On the third ring, Waylon, you hear the faint scream of a woman. <gasps> the Ripper! The game is afoot. I think I'm just gonna stay here and let the Hardy Boys do their thing. You're well within your right to do that. Although I will remind you, you'll be entirely alone. Fine. I'll go. Waylon, you follow the scream through a series of zigzagging alleyways. Sarah, you and Lance follow closely. As you round the corner, another scream. You all hear it this time. I got a 15 on my perception check. Can I hear where the scream is coming from? You can tell that the scream is coming from behind a small wooden door to your left. Do you really think it's him? Well, it could be a trap. We can't be sure. But if we never open that door, we'll never know. Sarah, give me a dex check, please. Four. A dark figure steps out from the shadows as a leather-gloved hand covers your mouth and nose with a chloroform-soaked rag. Wow. What a twist. I got a 17 to break down the door. You kick open the door to reveal a small room. On the other side of the entrance is a bloody bed, occupied by the lifeless body of a woman that neither of you recognize. <laughs> bloody bed. Get it? Bloody bed? I'm not there. 20 to investigate. Is there anything I can take for forensic analysis? There's a bloody scarf. Forensic analysis? Dude, it's 1888. And we have a time machine, my good sir. If we take this back to the future... Then a lab could analyze it and determine the killer's true identity. Precisely. Brilliant work, sir. The two of you notice that Sarah is missing. It must have been Jack the Ripper. While well, we've been studying this crime scene, he's gone off to create another. No shit, Sherlock. We've got to save her. It'll have to wait, Lance. We're done for the night. See you next time. I'm an orc barbarian, pay no attention to the skulls I'm carrying, spend all damn night looking for a good fight, anybody wanna step up on sight, I'll bury him, I put the party on my back, and that's not bragging homie, that's fact, I got a great axe and I'm ready to attack, I never lay back, no time to relax, look, everybody always wanna come for me, until they understand that they can't run for me, as you can see it's fun for me, cause there ain't nothing you could do that ain't already been done to me.